Keep up alive here. So what we have is an alternator from a 1990s era Saturn. And this is going in the 66MG. Now, it's a one wire alternator, so you have one wire in the plug. And you have your battery post, so it's pretty much universal. I have already taken off the drive pulley. And that, of course, is with this one nut. This is a 5 16 nut. You'll need an Allen wrench to hold the post steady and use a little bit of creativity to get that off. What you may hear is the term reclocking because the alternator in its current configuration has a mounting ear here and then two mounting ears here. And that's great because this is the mounting ears we're looking for on the MG, uh, but it's in the wrong orientation. You know, these are on the top. And if you were to mount this in your car, this wouldn't give you the opportunity to actually use the uh, the secondary mount to adjust tension. So what we want to do is we want to rotate this. Well, to do that, you have quarter inch torques. There's three of those that go here, here, and here. So you take those off. You'll have to pry this plastic piece off. There's a little plastic cover here that covers some of these electrical connections. So it's actually over on this side. And that does just pop off. There's no secret to it. Just pry it gently. You can put that back on. It hides this one. Uh, and then we got to do is we got to rotate it. So to do that, what I did is I took, because it's on there. This is a used alternator. I got it for 20 bucks at a local salvage, salvage place. But we need to take this off. We need to loosen it, but we don't want to actually remove it. Otherwise, we have to rebuild all the brushes. So you only really want it to move like a quarter inch. So I took a piece of wood, and using a three-quarter inch spade bit, I drilled a hole that the uh, shaft was able to be in. And then just tapped it with a mallet and now I can reclock it. So you want to rotate it so that way these, you know, your, your two holes still line up because that's the way the old MG is, but the yellow holes on the bottom. So uh, what you're looking to do there is now that I've just tapped it loose, I can literally reclock it. And now I've realigned it. So these two are on top. And this one that's down here will be used for the uh, the tensioner bracket. So that's the tensioner one. These are the two of the mounting ones. And that is really all there is to it. It seems incredibly simple. I've never tried it before. And honestly, trying to get this nut off was probably the hardest part of the whole thing. So you got any questions, just let me know. All right, so fast forward uh, a little bit here. All I did uh, from that first video was just simply put these screws back in once I got it rotated. Uh, you'll know if you messed up because when you try and spin your alternator, it will grind. And uh, Essentially what you've done is you've misaligned your bushings and, and your brushes, I should say. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this whole thing off. You're going to have to rebuild that, put that back together. That's what I meant by putting this three-quarter inch hole inside this three-quarter inch piece of birch. So that way the gap was just enough to allow the face to pop off, but not too terribly much. So... Uh, as I was mentioning before, also, you can see you have a Allen wrench center and a nut on the outside. So you're going to have to use a 5 16 inch wrench within the confines of that. kind of sucks. I actually, what I did is I put the put this in my vise, cinched my vise down, then hit it with a 5 16 impact to break this nut loose initially. And then from there, I was able to just use the the wrench and the allen wrench and get it off so from here it'll mount in the car like so so we'll have the top part of the car here and then this bottom bolt will be used for a an extension for an aftermarket arm i'll also have to get a b pulley and since it came with the with the plug i don't have to you can buy these brand new for around 100 bucks and then you're like another 20 bucks or 30 bucks or so with parts to get a brand new alternator in your mg if you're looking to do that but otherwise Make 20 bucks and a $10 V pulley and we'll be in business. Have a great day.